Okay, friends. Hi, it's Mrs. Tucker again. And today we are going to read through our story, Dogs. It is the third story in our Journeys book. And today I'm just going to read through the story. We'll talk about it a little bit, but I'm just going to read through the story so that you become familiar with the story. This is what we would call our first read of the story. Before we get started, though, I want you to look over here on the left-hand side where it says informational text. That's the type of story that we're reading today. An informational text is one of those stories that gives you facts or information about something. So in these kinds of stories, everything you read is going to be all facts, all details. It's all true. Everything is true in this story. You're going to see photographs in this kind of story because the author is going to want to show you the real thing since it's something that's true. And at the tops of pages, you will see something called headings. And we're going to see and talk about more of those as we go through the story. But today, you'll just notice them as we read through them. I'm going to have us meet our author really quickly, Jennifer Blizzen Gillis. It says she wrote her first story in third grade. She wrote a mystery story that was four pages long. And now she's written lots of books. She's written about pets, people, and even ballroom dancing. And besides writing, she likes to read, work in her garden, and cook. She also takes care of some pets of her own. She has two dogs and a cat. So let's read our story, Dogs, by Jennifer Blizzen Gillis. And our essential question for this story that we talk about for the next two weeks is, what do pets need to be healthy and happy? What kind of pet is this? Pets are animals that live with us. Some pets are small and have feathers. My pet is big and hairy. Can you guess what kind of pet this is? What are dogs? Dogs are mammals. Mammals make milk for their babies. Dogs are cousins of wolves and coyotes. Most dogs live with people as pets. Where did my dog come from? A mother dog had a litter of puppies. At first, the puppies could not see. The puppies stayed with their mother for eight weeks. Then I took a puppy home. How big is my dog? At first, my dog was as small as a cat. It weighed as much as a big bag of sugar. Now my puppy is a dog. It weighs as much as a bicycle. Where does my dog live? My dog lives in the house with us. It sleeps on a special dog bed. Sometimes my dog sleeps in my room. It may even sleep on my bed. What does my dog eat? My dog eats canned dog food. Sometimes my dog eats dry dog food. My dog chews special bones, too. Chewing the bones helps keep its teeth strong and clean. What else does my dog need? My dog needs a collar and a name tag. These can help me find it if it gets lost. My dog needs a leash, too. The leash is clipped to the collar so my dog can go for a walk. What can I do for my dog? I play with my dog every day. Playing is good exercise for dogs. I brush my dog with a special brush. This keeps its coat clean and smooth. What can my dog do? My dog can play fetch. When I throw a ball, it brings it back. My dog can help at home. It can bring in the newspaper. And that is the end of our story, friends. If you want to go back and watch this video again as you follow along with the story, you can. Otherwise, I will talk to you and see you soon. Bye!